yards to the season opener. Excellent start there. First drive of the season. Big time success putting it in the end zone. And remember, that was done without any real map of how to do it. In other words, the deeper you get into the season, you get game film to work off of, tendencies to work off of. The first drive of the season, things can be entirely different than what you've seen in the past. It's a really good job of execution by them. Extra point right down the middle. And that makes the score 7-0. So that drive, 12 plays in length. And it's capped off for the Cowboys' touchdown. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. So here are the Titans now for their first drive. And a look here at their go-to guy under center. And I liked what his head coach told us about him this week, that no matter what happens, whether he throws seven interceptions or seven touchdown passes, he's the same assertive leader in the huddle on each and every play. He can throw the seven interceptions, just blame the football, blame anything else, and still carry himself like he is the man. It's like you, assertive in our production meetings. Well, especially when we're talking, talking about ordering dinner, ordering snacks. I was snacks. just gonna say. That's, that's where I go. Back to throw now on second and 10. Throw right side, going to be caught by Waller. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Now after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. Boy, not what you want to see in quarter one of the new year. We'll be back. And the Cowboys here on third down, bringing in an extra defensive back. They'll look to throw here. That's caught by Kelly. And he will have a Titans first down, and he's going to have it by plenty. Able to get eight yards there on third and two. And already down seven to nothing after the touchdown a minute ago, so a three and out here would not be ideal for them. Nice job finding his receiver there, and they get the first down. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Now he'll let this one go. Deep left sideline. And incomplete on the deep ball. Almost feels like anything you can do, we're going to try and match or do better. We've already seen one touchdown pass from the opposition. They tried to equal it on that throw. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. And he's going to take this one up only to about the 44-yard line. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And that is incomplete. So on fourth down, kicking it away here, Michael Pilardi. And a great job on special teams to doubt it, as this will be marked out inside the five-yard line. That punt was near perfection as it checked up inside the five-yard line. You never know where these things are going to go, do you? No. What was it? You got a John Heisman quote about that, yeah, right? Yeah, he said the football is roughly a prolate spheroid, which means it's going to bounce funny, and you never know where it's going to end up. First and ten, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. And a nice pickup as this one gets them to the 10 yard line. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Back to throw. Wide open receiver complete. And able to get this one out just shy of the 25 at the 24. On play action, they'll throw. He's got it. Got his man on the end round. Complete. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Now back to throw. And that 
that going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. That helps the completion percentage, but not much else. And now it's third and ten. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And he's got his big wide receiver complete. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. A big connection on that one. 31 yards. Oftentimes now, offenses aren't nearly as precise as days gone by. They just saw receivers find an open patch of grass and let the quarterback find you. And that's exactly what they did on that play. First with the pass through the air, nice chunk of yardage there, and then additional pickup with his legs after the catch. On first down, Britt, and he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. After 1-7-0 on EA Sports. Second and eight coming up. They're going to look to throw. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. The 25-yard line is what they need here. This is third down. They'll set up to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. And his kick is absolutely perfect. And the lead moves to 10 zip. So that one on target, and it adds to this first half lead. And maybe we're too early to worry too much about one score lead, two score lead, et cetera, but this is where you kind of start banking those points that come in helpful later on. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. The Titans coming back onto the field for their second drive. They were forced to punt on their initial drive of the new season. Now they're ready to go as they begin again with a first and 10. Play-action fake. They'll look to throw. This one complete to Christian Kirk. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. Well, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. He'll look to throw. Throw left side, going to be taken in by Harris. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. Not what they had in mind there. That's going to go as a loss of four. Well, Brandon, we could see that play developing, and they were hoping that he was going to be able to put a move on the first guy and turn it into a big play. But no such luck. The speed on defense continues to get better and better in the NFL. Pretty nice example there of those guys being able to run from their assignments and finish off that play. And that is knocked away in the middle of the field and incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Back to throw again. That's over the middle and caught by Ayuk. And to the 49-yard line, but no further. And obviously, he is well short of the first. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. Brandon, a good idea there on third down. Run a little clear out and hope you can get your receiver the ball coming across the formation. Nice design, but well played defensively. And they stop him well short. Here's Michael Pilardi now as he'll kick it away for the second time. He'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And this one sails out of bounds. I think it'll be inside the 25. It will. 24-yard line is where they'll spot it. 
Out comes this field general once more, leading his offense back onto the field. He's played a pretty clean first half, a touchdown, no interceptions. Frankly, that's what they expect out of him. They want to see the ball thrown and thrown well, and he's able to do that and put it in the end zone. They'd love to see more of that before this game finishes. But right now, he's got his team in a good spot. A good spot, maybe looking for touchdown pass number two here in the second quarter. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Meanwhile, the throw here is complete. The reception good for seven. It's third down. Ran the perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. And this is going to be a Cowboys first down as the tackle made just shy of the 40. I know the game's changed. A lot of people would say it's evolved. Look, I'm a little bit Neanderthal, okay? I love this. No exotic formations, no misdirection. Just line up and run the darn ball, pick up the first down. I love it. Yeah, third and short, that's what you're supposed to do. Like you said, old school smash mouth football. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. This is Jennings. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. Alex Leatherwood, the Alabama man, called for the penalty there. He'll drop to throw. And he's got his man on the out route. And a good stiff arm there before he's brought down on a nice little game. On second down, Britt. Two yards the game there, and now they're left with a third and about four for a first. And he will find his man on the end route, complete. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I think it all came together there. In breaking route, drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. So operating from Tennessee territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 46. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. They'll run on first down. It's Jennings. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Working with a second and three. Now it's Jennings. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. First down, it's Jennings. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. The run got four, now they deal with a second and six. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And he's got it, got his man on the in route, complete. And the Cowboys are gonna have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop him right around the one. It'll be a pickup of four, and it brings up second and goal. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. 10-0, our score. They'll 
Try to run now with Jennings. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Taking it in from a yard out. And the Cowboys are looking good here in the season opener as they're able to extend their lead. So a good start to the campaign so far for them here in week one. Yeah, all the things that you dreamed about in April and May and that you worked on in July and August, getting ready for this game, it's all coming together so far. Now the extra point. He's got it, and it's 17-0. So that drive spans 13 plays, and it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And able to get this out to the 25. Here's Tennessee ready to begin this drive offensively. They've had it twice. They've punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all. And let's face it, every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice. So they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? So following the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 25. Now a throw here to his running back. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Now the Cowboys going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Got a man and he hits him in stride. And he will have a Titans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he's got this down to the 35. Now that's the kind of big play you'd like to see. This first half, it hasn't gone their way, and they could use a shot in the arm, something to perk them up a bit. And they get one here in the passing game. First and 10 here, and you know, if they could just get three out of this, there's something about narrowing it to a two-score game at half that makes it feel like much less of an obstacle. An incomplete pass on first down, that leads to a second and 10. They'll look to throw again. Right back to Walter. He's got it this time. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. On first down, he'll drop to throw. He'll get this into the hands of Ayu. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. The ball resting on the 20. Here's second and six. And he's going to have the hook up to Scott. He's dropped just inside the 20. A little second effort there, but couldn't find a whole lot of space. This will be the eighth play of the drive here. Third and four. And this is going to be incomplete. So now the Titans are going to call upon their field goal unit here. From the right hash, it's a 35-yard attempt. Santos' kick is up and through. And they're on the board at least here. It's now 17-3. So they do get three points, but that's now three drives with only the three points, not a ratio that's going to win you many ball games. Not at all, Brandon. And think about it this way. We all know payoff is the key, right? And wouldn't we love to have the concession on every T-shirt that's been printed in football that says finish on it? Because that's the mantra everywhere. 
got to be able to finish drives, put points on the board. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter, been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards, You've really done some damage in an NFL game. And now he's looking just to add to his totals. And that throw behind his man. He missed him incomplete. I can put just a little bit too much heat on that one. When you throw it to the outside, you do have to be careful because you got to keep it away from the defender. But you also have to give your own guy a chance, too. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Time he's got the hookup. It's complete. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. Again, he'll drop to throw. He has Brett over the middle. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. So the completion results there in nine yards. And it'll be second in about a yard. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend as we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman in our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome back to football, everybody. We've got a full slate of 16 games here to start the new season. So let's take our first trip. All right, we will save the week one highlights and apparently get right back to the action here in the third. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Titans getting set to go here to begin the third quarter. And right out of the gate, they face what you think could be a pretty important drive. I would say so. You know, they're down two scores. That's not the end of the world. It wasn't the strongest of first halves, but for them to start calling back, they've got to start putting a little pressure on that defense, start cutting into this deficit. You can't have three and outs and expect to get that done. A good start to the drive here. That's caught out on the left side. And he's brought down after a very nice game. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there were more people there to get him down. Now a first down carry for Harris. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. Well, we looked at each other right when he flinched. We knew that that flag was coming. Yeah, offsides, easy call, mark off the five, and keep it moving. Now they'll try to take advantage of that offsides call. Here's first and five. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move, first and 10. Flush to his right. And this turns into a nice gain with a slide at the end. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. Back to throw now on first down. Big hole up the middle. He'll find his tight end. That's Waller. 
First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. And that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. And that almost their first INT of the ball game. Had his sights on it, but he couldn't seal the deal. They'll look to throw on third and goal. Got a man, and it's taken in for a Titans touchdown. Christian Kirk there to make the grab. And the Titans are able to make this a close game again. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there was an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard, you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. Santos with the extra point, And that'll cut the lead down to a touchdown. So that drives seven plays in length. And the result in the end, a Titans touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Santos to kick this one away. Taken in at the three. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. The Cowboys offense now, they head out for their first possession of the second half. And maybe some renewed pressure on this unit following the touchdown a moment ago. It's back to a one-score game. And because of that pressure, because it's now a one-score game, they know this is where you need to slow the momentum change because otherwise that could overrun your team. You've got to be careful right here. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. taken in and he'll be stopped right at midfield well that was a pretty route right there because it's all about finding a window on a route like that he lined up on his left ran the deep in route over the middle and the ball was right where it needed to be really good trust between quarterback and receiver really good completion From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And that'll be incomplete. Second and 10. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Out of the gun now on third down. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. And they'll play keep away from the returner as this one will be marked out of bounds at the 13-yard line. Pretty good spot. The Titans offense now, they get ready to do battle again here. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And his throw is going to be incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. They'll drop to throw. Open man is Kirk, complete. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. They'll set up a throw. Open man is Ayu, complete. 
And he will have a Titans first down. They needed four. He doubled that. He wound up getting eight. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed, picking up the first. to throw here on first down. That's complete to his tight end, Waller. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. You know, despite the score line, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. There's a ball thrown right side and complete. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 18. Time to give some credit to the big fellows, the offensive line here, because you've got to have good protection on crossing routes because you've got to give your receiver time to work all the way across the field. That time, be able to scan the field, spot his receiver moving left to right, and make a good, accurate throw. Thank you, guys. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. On the give, this is Harris. And he's eaten up at the line of scrimmage. Might have gotten a yard down to the 16. I have to think a major focus of the halftime mix had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. The eighth play of the drive coming up. It's third and three. They'll look to throw. Yeah, he's got it. And it's a Titans touchdown. Christian Kirk already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Titans are an extra point away from tying this thing up. Well, this offense only mustered three points in the first half on that field goal. They picked up the pace now, two third-quarter touchdowns. Hey, you remember that appearance we had last week in front of that crowd, and, and they asked yeah. about halftime adjustments and all that that was going on. And remember what I said, it's not always an adjustment at halftime. Sometimes just remembering the game plan and playing better, tuning it up and just working through it methodically, they got it done in this case. And of course, I'll always remember that appearance because I had on a brown belt with black shoes and you pointed that out in front of the crowd. So thanks for that. I said that out loud? You did. Uh, my bad. Seventeen, seventeen. the score. All even to this point as the kick's away. Fielded right around the eight. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Now out comes their leader and the captain of this offense back onto the field. He's been pretty solid, pretty consistent, just the one touchdown pass, but I think he's managed the game well, no? I would agree with you, and that's what you're looking for out of your field leader, making sure that you're playing well and not making any big mistakes. Oftentimes, that's how you're judged. Mm -hmm. How big a mistake and when it occurs. No interception so far, they'll like that. I just want you to know that you agreeing with me, that's gonna get me through this third and fourth quarter. Are you touched? <laughs> He's patting his heart, boys and girls. He's touched. Respect. Third quarter, all tied up. This is second and 10. Now a give right side, Jennings. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. 
Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. Well, coaches stress their defense being physical. They don't just mean the big guys. How about the guys on the outside, the cornerbacks? It's not just their job to patrol the airspace. They can get involved in the run game as well. Got an extra defensive back out there for the Titans now here for third down. Looking to throw. Over the middle here to Rudolph. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. There's another example of what defensive coaches constantly preach, not allowing any run after the catch. They give up a few more yards than they wanted to but they were able to get him down quickly and force a fourth down. Well, now comes the Cowboys punter as he'll come on to kick this one away. This will be a 41-yard punt, three on the return, and it'll be Titan football. Here he is, the man taking the snaps under center, heading out for the next possession. He has been consistent, hasn't he? He played well in the first quarter, good second quarter, and now continuing that here in the third. And that's the word that they're always seeking from the guy taking the snaps, is consistency. Taking care of the ball, making sure it gets to the right people, no errors, right? Not turning it over, and just doing all the right things. That's leadership, and it inspires confidence in a team. I've yeah, been a good leadership and a good distributor. We are through three quarters here on NFL Kickoff Weekend. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Just week one, but already plenty of intrigue with the games going on, and this one no different as we come up on a first and ten. And he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. From the 39-yard line, here comes second down at six. They'll look to throw. And that almost their first INT of the ball game. Had his sights on it, but he couldn't seal the deal. He's lucky to be getting that one back. After what they've done with him all day long with all the targets trying to go after him, he's obviously gotten smart, and his pride has kicked in. Made a terrific play. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he will have a Titans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Catch number 100 for his career right there, and it's good enough to keep the chains moving. Harris and he is met quickly in the backfield down he goes folded like a lawn chair a loss of a full three yards and now it's second down I thought he did a nice job there setting an edge and make sure nothing could get to the outside but he decided that wasn't enough for him worked his way back inside and made the tackle on the ball carrier behind the chain second and 13 look to throw here that's caught on the left side by Kirk and he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45 four yards on the completion and it sets up a third down back to throw here timing is so important on a route like this because he's going to line up out right then cut straight across the field I think the ball might have come out a counter two too late because by the time he was able to secure it not much of a chance to turn it upfield Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? An option handoff given to Harris. Oh, he shifts past him, and he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. Something to watch here in week one of the season, tackling. Because you and I both know that in the preseason, a lot of these guys don't play a whole lot. 
Plus, the intensity and the speed really ratchets up on opening week. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. That was an excellent job of recognizing the situation. His first read wasn't there. Heck, his second read wasn't there. But he bought himself a little extra time scrambling out of the pocket, got to the sticks, and picked up the first down. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. They hand this off to Harris. And he goes backwards here, losing yardage back to the 16. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. Now a give right side. Scott, and he'll get four there down to about the 12-yard line. In search of eight yards on third down, they've already converted two of these on this drive, two for two. And it's caught. And he won't have the touchdown, but he will have the first down as he's tackled at the two. Had to put that ball in there with a little extra zip, but he put it right where it needed to be. Yeah, and that little extra pace that he had on the pass, that required a little extra concentration for him, didn't it? Ball can get on you pretty quick in that manner, and he handled it well and picked up the first down. A field goal could get him the lead, but it might not be enough here as they come up on first and goal. Harris. And into the end zone for a Tennessee touchdown. Damian Harris taking it in from two yards out. And the Titans have taken the lead. So what a comeback here. They looked like they might be down and out not too long ago, but they have rallied back to take a fourth quarter lead. And I think we've got to give them nothing but credit for figuring things out on the fly because mentally they were on the ropes ready to go and they hung in there and made some changes and adjustments and that led to some big plays and it turned this game on its ear. Santos able to tack on the extra point, and they will take a seven-point lead. Now, after the touchdown, here's Santos to kick this one away. Taking it about the one. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And now they'll look to answer working from behind. And remember, this offense has sputtered yet to score here in the second half. They'll need to change that here. So he stopped for no gain. And that'll make it second and 10. Back to throw. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. No! This home crowd, they're happy with that call. <laughs> I like the way you said happy there, right? The so-called good guys didn't get a call. They feel like it's been that way all afternoon. You feeling their pain? They finally got one. Yes, they did. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Now this one over the middle into the hands of his tight end complete. And oh, he's going to be brought down by the face mask. Here come the flags. This is going to get him a first down. Well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all, and now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. And now it's first and 10, a big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. Now back to throw. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he'll get this down inside the five to the four before he's out of bounds. A gain of six there on first. On second down now, Britt 
And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. As big of a play as we've had in this one so far. This is third and three. Back of the end zone. Could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. They may be snapping the ball near the goal line, but all you're thinking defensively, keep them out of the end zone. Force the incompletion, force them into going for three and not giving up six. Plenty of shouts from this crowd as they watch the replay. They want a challenge, and they're going to get one. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How's the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. So that challenge is successful one. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. Nothing separating these two sides. 24 all our score as he sends this one away. Taken in at the three. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. Tennessee offense set to go again. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news, plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back. They'll start the drive with Harris. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They'll run with Scott. Now, after that last running play, we've got an offensive lineman down on the field. Huh, hate to see this. Week one of the season. We'll be back. And they run with Harris off the option. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. And Waller taking it in over the middle. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. And partner in a tie game in the fourth quarter, you and I both know in the NFL, that's when you lean on your stars. And he came through with a nice catch right there. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 43. They'll try the jet sweep with Kirk. They'll get six on the play, and it's going to take us to the two-minute warning. Getting down to the good stuff, all tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. Second and four. Got an open man. It's Scott. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. A field goal from this spot would be 51 yards. They'll try to move it closer on third down. Trying to pick it up on the ground with Harris. And he's able to pick up the first down here before he goes down at the 26. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts as it'll come with an even 90 seconds remaining on the clock. First down, and they go back to Harris. 
The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. On second down, it's Scott. And he stopped after a gain of one. Not enough. Still a yard to go on third down. Now a timeout called for by the defense as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. On third down, here's Harris. And Harris is not going to get there. Great work defensively to stop him short. Tough sledding. They lose a yard there on third. Have to kick this field goal, don't you? No question about it. Look at the clock. Look at the situation. Kick the field goal. So a big one coming now for Cairo Santos. This to take the lead here in the final minute. And Santos able to put this one up and through. It's good. And the sideline celebrates as they have taken the lead in the final minute. All right, so time to reset here. It's a huge kick there, gives them the lead, but they've got to be careful that their celebrations aren't a little too premature. You're exactly right about that because there still is time for the other guys to run a few plays and get into field goal position. So this defense is going to need to come up with one final stop if they're going to get out of here with a victory. Here again comes the captain of this offense leading his crew back out there now. And the stats on the screen tell the story. A great start. This defense, they've made some good adjustments, though. He's fallen off since. You have to like what they did at the half, but you also have to like the fact that they hung in there. Despite the fact they had a tough first half, he was locked in, right? Rocking and rolling. They came out, made their adjustments, got their confidence back. Now they're causing him all sorts of trouble. And this is caught. A spectacular one-handed grab there. And he's across for the touchdown, and it's likely the game winner here in the closing stages. So for those of little faith, guess what? It got done. They now have the lead with that touchdown this late in the contest. I wonder if that was a play they were holding or a play that they just knew would work from past experience. Well, I just saw it in their eyes on the sideline before starting that last drive, and they did. You're right. They got it done. Looks like they're going to be the winners. The extra point splits the uprights, and it would appear, barring some late heroics, they're going to get out of here with a cup from behind victory. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This is taken just shy of the 10. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. They have time here, partner, for just one final heave. And I have to look at from the defense's perspective here. We know what they're going to do on offense. The Hail Mary, try and get guys down there and throw it in the end zone, tip it around and catch it. You've got to have guys back there to defend that. But also, you can't allow the quarterback as much time as he wants to set up and throw it. Maybe you bring a little extra pressure to make sure he gets rid of it quicker. A little bit of a cat and mouse game. We'll see if they bring that pressure. So this one will end in a victory for the Dallas Cowboys. And with that, our journey begins, Charles. Week one in the books. Going to be a great season. Oh, man, so much to look forward to. Isn't it nice to get a really good game right out of the gate? Preseason behind us. All these games count now, don't they? Yeah, this is the exciting time with just one week gone and plenty of weeks to come. So for Dallas, that'll be a happy locker room as they start the season 1-0. And they will hit the road next week. Meanwhile, for the Titans, they obviously fall to 0-1 with the defeat. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn. And this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. It's a win for the Cowboys as we sign off and say so long from Arlington.